What's up everyone, welcome back, and today I'm gonna go over just the best rolls really, it's not really like a countdown kind of thing, because 3.0 is gonna be a lot of changes to the rolls, so it's not really gonna hold the same as any other count anymore, so I'm just gonna go over with what I think will be the best roll for 3.0, and what you should be getting catching right now. So if you haven't already read the, new, uh, the news of like 3.0 and all that and what's happening with thralls and other weapons or whatever, all thralls will be hitting 50% less, so it's it's gonna just fuck up everything really if um, if you don't have a strong thrall, it's, just, it's gonna be even weaker now, it's, it's just, and um, they're nerfing team looks for the fourth time, I'm pretty sure, fourth or fifth time, so I think game looks is finally gonna be done. Uh, because of the damage multiplier and all that's getting changed and one more thing that I'm pretty sure that's happened is um, two-handed weapons will be buffed and so that means that maces I don't think will be as good as the two-handed weapons so I think that Sword of Crowns will come back in style again or Tethosaurus or Blade of Dimitri so with all that being said and just you guys know that's what happened in 3.0 I'm going to go over the thralls that I think will be the best for you to catch in 3.0. Something that all of you are actually like normal players of the game so you don't need to be showing what's what and where everything spawns at but if you aren't new I have made other videos about it but I will still have like the spawn locations for all these stuff in it. So it's not really a countdown or anything as I said so it's not a top 5 run but the first thralls I'm going to go over 3 thralls here which is the Spinus and Marauder. Ares of Avenger and Kenneth's Flesh Terror. All three of them are pretty much the exact same. I'm pretty sure this is a Flesh Terror right here on your right, isn't it? See, it's as simple as bombs. You just go out the volcano all with, you follow down right, or there's sometimes two down there, but uh, not really a good spawn rate for Eerie and Flesh Terror. Spinous Marauder has only a 2% spawn rate, so here I am right here, despite the all boss. The Spinous only spawns around here. Really, that's the most common place you'll find them. Actually first try coming over here and there's the one that I'm coming in just right after the ones that are coming better. So I think the Lindsay, which is right here, it's the 2% spawn rate just in the mines. She spawns all around the mines. So kind of a hard spawn to get but you see that point right here. And then the other one which is a guarantee spawn, it's just down from the mountains is the Berserker. I'm not sure where that is, but obviously the Dolenzi is better than the Berserker. I'm just showing him just because he's 100% spawning. So I think this is up there as well. He'll still be pretty good. But here it is, Berserker. Over here in Leanne's watch, and there's 100% spawn of Leanne. So here it is right here in Leanne's watch. It's up in the Highlands. Right here. And uh, he's tied up with Janos, which is pretty much the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure Janos just has a little bit more health on him. Uh, Janos is a little bit of a rare spawn. He can spawn anywhere in Asgard. He could spawn up in this little right, right here, just right behind the Great Dawn, right at the keyhole. Um, pretty much anywhere, really, just around this area right here. Yeah, that's pretty much just that. <laughs> really, that's pretty much the best rolls that's going to be in 3.0, in my opinion, because. Desert or Camus won't be in here because I don't think he'll be great anymore. I'm gonna believe that. <laughs> and here's all the thralls that we went over. We got Leon, Delinzia, Stemmer, Berserker, Eerie, Spinus, Janus, and Flystar. This is the best armor I think you should put on your thrall right now. <laughs> well, it's the best like strength and vitality, so I would go with this here just to be safe. And then obviously 200 weapons are gonna be buffed, so these are the best three uh, that I can think of right now. With this a master kit on them, all the rest of them Yeah, if you just have anything else, you just want to ask me or what's going to happen, just message it down in the comments and I'll respond to you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in there.